This is Kurt Heisinger, accounting professor at Sierra College and author of Managerial Accounting. This video describes how to use trend analysis to analyze financial statements. And trend analysis evaluates an organization's financial performance over a period of time rather than just looking at one year's worth of information. And those periods can be measured in typically months, quarters, or years. If it's a publicly traded company, it tends to be on a quarterly or annual basis. And the goal is to calculate the dollar change from one period to the next and the percent change from one period to the next, and then analyze that information. See how the company's doing, for example, with their revenue from one period to the next or with their operating profit from one period to the next. So trend analysis enables us to run these calculations and take a look at how a company is doing over time. So the first step is to understand how to calculate the amount of change and the percent change. And you can see both here in the, in the first uh, equation, this equation right here, this is where we can determine the amount of change and it's the current year amount, the most current year amount, minus the base year amount. And then once we have that information, uh, we, we would find the percent change by using the number from up above in the numerator, the amount of change, and divide that by the base year amount. Uh, oftentimes I've heard uh, people describe this right here, this amount of change as the new minus the old. So that's the current year, right, right here, the current year amount minus the base year amount. So the new information minus the old information, right, that's how to find the, the, the amount of change. Uh, and then divide that by the old, the old information, or the base year amount. So often I've heard it's new minus old divided by old. Uh, some people like to use that to figure out uh, how to calculate the percent change. But this is how we do it. So it's the amount of the change divided by the base year amount. And if that amount of change is a negative number, so if, for example, uh, revenue went down, that would be a negative number, then uh, we would show this percent change as a negative percent change. So here's an example of trend analysis for Coca-Cola's income statement. A lot of, there's a lot of information here, but really this comes right from Coca-Cola's income statement, and you'll see that uh, we have the new information, which is the most recent information, 2014 in this case, and the old information, and then we have the amount of change. We talked about how to find that on the previous slide, so it's the, um, the, the amount of change then is the current year, 2014 minus the base year. So if you look at net sales, that's these are all in millions. It's 45 billion 998 million minus the 46 billion 854 million, and that equals the amount of change. And realize it's a negative number because it actually went down. Net sales did from 2013 to 2014. So it went down the amount of change by this number right here. Um, $856 million, and that's a negative number. Uh, and then remember, the percent change that you see here is the uh, amount of change. So that 1.8%, this negative amount right here, 1.8% is the amount of change divided by the base year or the old year. Um, so that would be divided by the 856 divided by this number right here, the 46,854. And that comes out to negative 0.018 or negative 1.8%. Just multiply by 100 to convert that to percent. So that same calculation is done um, for these two columns, those calculations are done for every single line item that you see over here so that we can see what's happening for Coca-Cola from uh, 2013 to 2014. So I'll just do a, pick out a couple items here. So we've got net sales that uh, went down by 1.8%. We see that their uh, gross margin went down by 1.1%. And you can, you can pause this and look at the narrative in the boxes to the right here if you like. Um, you can see that their operating income went down by 5.1% and their net income went down by 17.4%. So that's what we do with trend analysis. Take a look at what's going on with their financial information from one year to the next. Here's an example of trend analysis for Coca-Cola's uh, balance sheet from 2013 to 2014. So let me expand this a little bit so we can see it a little better. And if you look 
at the cash and cash equivalents line item, just to, again to give you an example, you'll see that the uh, the cash and cash equivalents dollar amount went up from 2013. That's this column to 2014. Um, if you look at the the, the um, this number right here, the 17 billion 121 million dollars. These are all in millions. It went from 17 121 up to 18. Uh, 0, 010 0, or 18 billion 10 million dollars and therefore if we do the math here uh, we take the 18 uh, 10 and we subtract the 17 121 that gives us a positive 889 889 million dollars so cash and cash equivalents went up uh, by 889 million dollars and then to find the percent change we would take the 889 and divide that by the 17,121. And that tells us that their cash and cash equivalents went up by 5.2%. So again, to find the percent change, take the amount of change, $889 million here, divided by the base amount, which is $17,121,000,000. And that then gives us the percent change. And here it happens to be an increase of 5.2%. So this is done for each line item of the balance sheet. All the way down, you can see what their uh, their percent their amount changes look like, and then what their percent changes look like. Right, all of this information, all the way down, that's all um, the the percent changes that you see for the balance sheet for Coca Cola. Another way to perform trend analysis is to look at information not only from one year to the next, but over several years. And here we have an example of Coca Cola Company and their uh, trend analysis over the course of Five years. It doesn't have to be five years, but five seems to be five years seems to be a fairly common period of time. If you look at uh, 10K reports, and sometimes you'll even see 10-year trends, um, and you'll see this type of analysis over the course of 10 years. So when that is happening, when we're looking at uh, trend analysis over several years, we need to to show the oldest year as the base year, and in this analysis down below, um, you'll see that. So the base year here is in 2010 and we're just focusing on two items here we're showing uh, net sales and we're showing operating income just so you see how this works it can be done for any line item that you want to take a look at but we're looking at two in particular here so 2010 is the base year and that and, and then what we do is establish that as a hundred percent that's basically the the, the baseline hundred percent and then as we move forward um, we'll take a look at future years and what those numbers look like uh, relative to the base. And the way to find that number is to simply take the, uh, for example, net sales for 2011 and divide it by the net sales for the base year. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Let me move this over a little bit so we have some space here. Let's take a look at how we would do that for net sales. So for net sales, we would take this 46, 542, so 46, 542, and we're going to divide that by the base year, which is shown right here, and that is the 35,119. And that's going to give us then, I'm, I'm calculating the percentage, I'll, I'll show you in just a second, that's going to give us 1.33, and then to convert that to percentage form, just multiply it by 100, and that gives us 133%. And that is the amount, that's the percentage that you see right there. So 133% of the base is what we see for 2011, and that's how we find it. And we do that for each year. So if you wanted to figure that out for 2012, we would take the 48 uh, 017, and, and these are all in millions again, but uh, 48 017 and divide that by the base the 35, 119, and that's going to give a percentage of 137. So that's how we find it, uh, and that's how trend analysis can be performed uh, for companies when we're looking at information over the course of multiple years, and that's exactly what we see here, is a trend analysis over the course of five years, 2010, 2011, 12, 13, and 14. And so we can get a sense of what's happening with Coca-Cola uh, with their net sales and with their operating uh, income relative to 2010. Next we're going we're to look at a bar graph that uh, pulls this information right here, the trend analysis percentages for 
operating income. So you take a look at these percentages right here just so you see where the information comes from and then on the next slide you're going to see a, a nice way to present this information. Oftentimes trend analysis information can be presented in the form of a bar graph and that's what you see here. This is the operating income trend for Coca-Cola and again 2010 is the base year. So when you look at this you'll see that on the far left uh, here's 2010 that's 100%. And then the other years operating income are simply divided by the base years operating income to find the percent for the uh, the other years. So you'll see that we've got the 121% of the base for 2011, 128% of the base for 2012, 122, 115. So it's just a nice way to, to see what's happening in this case with operating income over the course of five years.